We're talking to Wendell Clark, number 17 from the Toronto Maple Leafs. And uh, when he's on the road with the boys, they stay in, uh, maybe have a mineral water, go to bed. That's, 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 that's all we can <laughs> Play a little guitar. Yes. <laughs> Take the guitar with us. And Actually, John, I never told you this, but I did see Wendell play the guitar. You did? I used to manage a place called Barry T's in Edmonton, and Wendell was in there Wendell one night playing, playing guitar? his guitar. What, what did he do? <laughs> was I there that night? <laughs> yeah, you were there. I was there in my hotel room. <laughs> you were there. He had a, he had a mineral water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What was, uh, what was the song he was playing? I can't remember, but he wasn't there. Stairway to Heaven? Or he wasn't, it wasn't Stairway to Heaven, but it was good. <laughs> no, it was a band. It was our first win in Edmonton, and it was an exhibition game. It was That's right. first win in a while. That was my second second year. I was 86. Yeah, 86. And uh, we uh, went out and had a couple pizzas and mineral water. The band was from Toronto, yep. so we knew them, and so we, we helped them out. Can you do a little for us now? <laughs> no, I can't say so anything right now, no. <laughs> Well, well, now that you've established your, yourself, uh, do you find that a lot of the new players coming to the league are, are looking to take a run at the top gun and uh, make a name for themselves? No, I don't think it's been too bad. It's like no. you say, the game isn't just out there for fighting. It's uh, more all, all around players. I think people that uh, have to do their jobs, and mm -hmm. so it's been uh, it's been good. It's everybody just goes out there and plays hard. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you play on the left side. Who are some of the, the tougher guys to check in the league? Uh, some of the right wingers that give you trouble. Well, some of the young guys that have been playing well, Trevor Linden the other night uh, is playing very well. He's a, a tough player to check. You know, Cam Neely is a very tough, strong Big power guy. forward that that is is tough to get a hold of. And then you got you know some finesse guys that uh, are always tough. And, and then Detroit's got Fedorov and Garpanov now. They're you know they've added some speed to their hockey right. club and helped them out. And obviously Brett Hall is somebody that you. Mm. You don't see him much, but then that you know, if you're in the wrong spot at the wrong time, he's going to pot it that's on you. That's so. it. That's it. So there's uh, just about every team has a couple players that can hurt you. Well, Wendell, you're a big shot in Toronto now. You're doing soup commercials. <laughs> you uh, got endorsements <laughs> coming out your ears. Uh, you also had the trademark spiked hair. You had a Fu Manchu, and also it's gone now. It's gone. I, what happened there? Well, I let, that, I let my hair grow since training camp, and I grew the mustache and. We weren't doing too well, so I just <laughs> so cut the hair off, off and trimmed trim the mustache. They told me to take it all off, but I haven't done. I've done that once since I've been here. And Never again. I right. started getting ID'd everywhere I went. So <laughs> I back on. Well, we were we had a coffee here earlier on in a little coffee shop over there. There's a fantastic photograph on the wall of you and the King Clancy. Yeah. Yes, that was. Uh, I guess the end of my first year. King was uh, a great guy. He loved hockey and he. He loved the game, and he was, uh, I guess, one of the first people I met at the draft, and one of the first people I talked to. And he uh, basically he said, uh, "This is when I was drafted. This is the best that that an organization you'll ever be in." Because <laughs> yeah. he he loved the Leafs, he loved the people, and he loved being a Maple Leaf. And and uh, he was just a great uh, great person to talk to when you were down or just wanted to talk because mm -hmm. he always had uh, some great stories. Well, Wendell, we have a, a new junior B team in Muskoka called the Muskoka Bears. It's first season ever. Recently won their first game. Uh, After going 0-11. So that's right. Any, these uh, things do happen. Any words of encouragement you carried off for them there when, uh, when this airs? No, just uh, like uh, everybody hates here, just got to work hard, <laughs> hope for the best. But uh, basically there's more to, uh, to life than hockey when you're, a, when you're a junior player. You got to go to your, sco your, your schooling and your hockey. You can uh, get the best of both worlds, and there's no use sacrificing one or the other when you can do both. Well. Well put. <laughs> Those are oh, great words. Clear was marking the letters. Unfortunately, we've got to wrap things up. That's Sports Stand for Friday, November the 16th, 1990. I'd like to thank our guest, Wendell Clark, for coming onto his favorite sports show to talk to his two <laughs> favorite sports guys. Sorry, Don. We wish him luck this, this, this season and, of course, the rest of his professional hockey career. Marty, uh, we have a couple, a couple other people we have to thank. Oh, we'd like to thank uh, Tyler Franks for all the high sticking and spearing and the usual stuff she does with the camera. Brian, stick him up, punk James, uh, for bringing Cleo along with him and looking after the production for us. We'll see you next week. And uh, yeah, we, we have, we have a special Stewart. message for our morning man, Rick Stewart, who says that the Greg Simpson deal would be a good move. Rick, we gave Wendell your address. That's right. You're in trouble. Take care. Thanks, Wendell. Thank you. Thank you.